Hi, this is Jessica Bittman at the Greater Wilmington Convention and Visitors Bureau, and this is Bits and Bites. We are here for our Women in History series at Winneter Museum, Garden, and Library, and we are about to learn a little bit more about Marion Coffin. I learned about Marion Coffin a few years ago and just have discovered how many different amazing places that she's had an influence on throughout Wilmington and the gardens. And so we're going to come here and learn a little bit more about this pioneer. Let's go. at the Winterthur Museum, Garden, and Library, and I am here with Linda, the Director of Horticulture, who is about to tell us about Marion Coffin, who is just this amazing pioneer in the world of landscape architecture. How are you, Linda? I am fine. Thanks, Great. thanks for being here. Yes, and tell me how uh, Marion was involved with the DuPont family. Well, Marion Coffin's mother, Alice Church uh, Coffin, was friends with Mr. DuPont's mother, and she was actually in Mr. DuPont's mother's wedding. Oh, okay. So they would have known each other as children. And when they both were in Boston at the same time going to school, Mr. DuPont went to Harvard University, um, uh, Marion went to MIT to study landscape architecture. Uh, and it's interesting, she was only one of four women in that class of 500 men. Um, and she was studying landscape architecture, a fairly new field at that time. Uh, so there were only two in landscape architecture and two in architecture. So just the two women. Uh, they, he and she reconnected as friends. They visited a lot of gardens together, uh, visited private gardens, public gardens, looked at plants, uh, and really just had that sh love of gardening and the landscape. Wonderful. And then how did she eventually come to be here to work on the gardens at Winneter? Well, of course, with her background then in landscape architecture, she set up her own practice in 1905, 1906, because at that time there weren't a lot of firms that wanted to hire women, so she set up her own firm. Uh, so she was doing some, a number of different projects. And then when Mr. DuPont inherited uh, Winterthur, uh, this was the late 20s, he of course turned to her as a landscape architect and as a, a family friend to redesign. Uh, he wanted to expand the house to hold his growing collection. He wanted to rechange the direction of the garden and the front entrance. So he, she was natural, the, his first choice. Wonderful. And then how today can we still see her influences here at Winneter? Well, we are standing in the, on the East Terrace, the reflecting pool area. So this is all Marion Coffin's work in the late 20s, early 30s. Uh, the, the swimming pool that she designed is now the reflecting pool, the bathhouses, a wonderful area that's used for a lot of weddings uh, during the season. So you'll see her work here. The Glade Garden, a more naturalistic area that we're standing next to. Uh, the box scroll garden up above us. So a lot of her work here is still intact as she designed it. We have her latest work with Mr. DuPont was in the 50s, in the 50s, that's the Sundial Garden. Uh, and that's wonderful in April. So that's a wonderful time to come and see that garden. And that is still here as well. So some wonderful examples of uh, her style here at Winterthur. Amazing. Now, if our audience wants to, and I'm sure they will, want to come back and learn more about Marion and see the gardens and see her influences, do you yeah. offer any special tours or any special events that they could look to? Well, this is a wonderful spring to come back and learn more about Marion Coffin. We are actually doing some programs in April on Fridays and Saturdays. I forget the time, but in the afternoon. These will be walks through the Sundell Garden featuring that garden and Marion Coffin and her her history, her connection with Mr. DuPont, and her design style. In May, those walks will be uh, on Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, and they'll be featuring the reflecting pool area that we're standing in now, and again, learning more about her as well. There's also just women in, that have influenced Winterthur in general, and we'll be doing those walks uh, once we uh, reopen uh, February, um, the last weekend in February. Okay, 2022, yes. Excellent. Exactly. Great. Oh, well, I definitely want to come back and learn more and oh. more about this family. It's, it's amazing. So thank you for, You're welcome. for telling us more. You can also visit some of the other gardens that Marion has had influence in throughout Delaware. You can see the campus at University of Delaware, uh, Gibraltar Gardens, Mount Cuba, and more. So thank you for joining thank us. You. We'll see you next time. Bits and Bites.